Hi friends, welcome back to your own channel Rhino for Raj. Today I'll teach you how do we model this building in Rhino. So let's get started. File new large objects in millimeters. So I'll go in perspective. First I'll create a rectangle. Okay, F first corner is zero. Enter, and then I will put a four seventy meters length by forty meters length. Beautiful. Now I'll say Z enter, E enter, extend. I'll, I have created a rectangle. Now I will copy this rectangle up. I'll copy vertical. Click here and say six meters. Beautiful. Now I have to uh, copy this curve vertical again. Curve vertical. We will give us. Four meter height first, okay, and a nine meter height. Nice. Now I will introduce you a new command called as catenary. Yes, this creates a curve using the catenary formula, and it gives you a catenary curve, which is this one, right? Now I'll delete this curve. I'll delete this one. Okay, and I will create a profile for this thing to have an extrusion. I will join, or you can type J O I N join. Select this curve, and I will go in solid extrude curve straight. Extrude it this long. I will make a ghosted view. Beautiful. Now next step is to create the central void. So I'll go in circle, deformable, and two point. Select this midpoint. Select the other midpoint. Okay, this one. And then I'll give an offset curve. Dimension would be six meters. Tolerance will be one millimeter, and I will cop do it inwards. Select this curve. I will serve solid, extrude planar curve straight, and I will extrude straight. I will select this solid, and say boolean difference, and delete the middle part to create the courtyard. Now, if we see the view, we have got the central courtyard, which has got a walking space around it and a roof. So we'll create the walking space. So I'll copy this curve. Control C, Control V. I'll stretch it a bit. Okay, and I will project. Onto this geometry, perfect. So you've got this curve. Next step would be to extract this face. So I'll right-click on this explode component, create a copy of this face, and say enter. And I will select this surface, and then say split using this curve. Okay, I'll split the surface. Okay, so I've got this surface now. So I'll say untrim. Select the surface edge. Okay, then we have got the continuous surface, and then I'll say offset surface. Both sides should be on, and then distance would be 500, and I'll say enter. Now I will boolean difference with this geometry, okay. And to see a realistic view, I'll do a rendered view. So this is how it will turn out. I'll do a ghosted view again. Now I create the lower glazing. I'll say offset, only offset, and then move it inside by 1500. Select this curve. Now I'll make it on to layer 3 and say glass surface extrude curve straight. 
okay now I will explode extract surface I will untick copy I want to create a duplicate I'll select this enter and then right click on the glass layer and change object layer so this will be also glass now I need to change this object as well so I'll do a explode and I want to give a separate material to the top and a separate material to the sides okay so basically I will deselect the surfaces and then say join so I'll join this I'll join this okay so those will have a s s distinct material I'll select this and I will apply layer 1 and facade layer 2 roof okay and terrace I'll pick this geometry and put a terrace nice now I'll create a layer 5 as mullions and I will create a box over here and say it's 100 by 100 into this height move the extrusion outwards select this mullion do a transform array along curve select the curve and then give a distance of let's say 2000 and then click on the number of items so it is divided equally beautiful so we have got this thing now I'll go into rendered view and slowly we'll apply some materials so first we'll apply material to the facade click on the material ball then I will go in color and I will put a tan color here then I'll go into the roof color and I'll put some gray tone yeah okay then glazing would be a custom layer and transparency or you can directly put a glass layer over here and further you can put this layer which is the terrace same as the plaster okay then if you want to make the tone little bit lighter you can click on this create a unique edible copy and then make it much like less color nice so you have got this thing now we need to apply the background so so we'll go into display options go into display modes play modes select rendered view and say copy and then I will say render with background and select a single image select the file okay and say okay now we'll go in right click on perspective and say render with background nice so we have got this geometry now I just simply have to place this geometry in the right location beautiful nice so we have got this geometry placed in the right location I'll just right click on this and say capture to file and then I will say 
untick transparent background so you will have the background also in the exported file then you can scale up the scaling factor let's say 4 so you have a bigger resolution over here and say ok and I will say render view concept design and say ok and I will say open yeah so we have got a high resolution image right now I hope you like this video and uh, please do hit the like button so that it motivates me to do much more interesting work in the coming videos and I can also help you with one-on-one -on -one online tutorials with architecture projects university projects and guidance on Rhino and Grasshopper assignments email me at rhinoforarch.com